Quasi here. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can shift your reality. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you two exercises to powerfully get to a point where you choose which reality you would like to experience. Before I begin this video, I wanted to quickly announce that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. If you want to win this book for free at the end of the week and enroll into a competition where we pick one lucky winner to get this in the ebook format, just comment Life Mastery down below and we'll be picking one lucky winner every single Friday. Also, I'm super excited to announce that the free one-to-one -one consult for the Reality Mastery program is open and spots have opened up. So if you've been trying to book your free consult, just wait till the end of the video for the announcement on how to do that. And with that, let's get started with this video. Now in this video, I wanna to talk to you about reality shifting. And there have been lots of ideas and misconceptions about this, and it's not really that complicated. You just have to understand the subtle dynamics behind what makes reality shifting possible, what it really is, and you know it doesn't have to be something crazy mystical. Everyone experiences this in a different way. So it's very personal to you. So before I go into this video, what you've got to understand is that there are different parallel realities. Okay, so in this quantum physics space, there is this model of viewing reality and from books like Transurfing Reality, videos I've made on them in the past, you may have seen that, oh yes, there is this thing called the film and script model. So right now, this particular sector of life that you're experiencing, it's all a result of thoughts and attitudes you've had in the past. And that energy is manifesting this corresponding life. So whether or not it was a conscious choice of the energy that you put out or an unconscious one, regardless, you're still manifesting this, right? So with that said, if you want to manifest a certain corresponding sector of this parallel reality, then you can start cultivating the thoughts now create that thought energy now, and then it will show itself. Now, why that happens is because this internal change happens very quickly. The shift within you happens very, very quickly, almost instantaneously, but it just takes some time to show itself in material reality. So with that being said, what you must know is that there is no such thing as reality creation. There is no such thing as reality creation, okay? Anything that needed to be created has already been created. It's just choosing, right? It's just choosing the reality you would like. So reality creation is more accurately described as reality choosing. So this is why we arrive at this parallel universe space. So out of these parallel universes, anything that you could think of, anything that's not even in your conception, you can still choose. As long as you can even imagine it, it's yours, right? So with that being said, you might be wondering, well, how do we connect to certain parallel sectors? How do we manifest certain scripts and certain corresponding lifelines that lead to a certain event? Right? So this, again, comes back to this thought energy that you're radiating. So what you've got to know is that your attention is divided into three. There is positive attention, negative attention, and neutral attention. Right. So positive attention and negative attention have the power to attract realities, have the power to shift you along these lifelines, along these parallel realities. So really to just get clear about this, if you have this film and script model, right? So right now you're in a current frame, a singular frame, this reality, this immediate sliver of reality you're experiencing right now, this is just one singular frame, okay? Now, let's say you want to go to a frame where you're a millionaire. That's another singular frame. The thing that connects these two frames is the script, aka the lifeline. Okay, and this lifeline is the, or the script is the collection of frames that's going to lead up to that. So one frame after another, one frame after another, etc., etc. So... By the quality of your attention, you can choose these corresponding frames that follow in the script. I hope that makes sense. So whenever you put negative energy on something, you attract. Whenever you put positive energy on something, positive attention on something, you attract. 
neutral attention has the power to dissolve. So anything that you observe neutrally, it just keeps it going in the same manner, right? Or it dissolves it. So that's why when you try to let go of something, when, you know, this negative energy, letting go process, you know, why ancient yogis, they're so concerned with just neutrally observing, becoming the observer. Now, becoming an observer doesn't mean that you just get completely detached from something and there is no involvement in it. You can have full involvement, but still be detached. It's this subtle internal shift. But anyway, before I you know, diverge into another topic, what you've got to know is that there is positive attention, negative attention, neutral attention. Positive and negative have the power to create or attract reality, rather. So anything that you've put a positive attention to, you've attracted into your life. So now look back into your past. When you've had events which you perceived as positive, they have shifted you to positive lifelines or a positive script. So to give you an example, when I was bullied as I was younger, I actually perceived that positively. You know, I think I read an article somewhere and it said that, oh, you know, kids who are bullied are more likely to be X, Y, Z, more confident, more able to you know, take responsibility or be independent, etc., etc. So when I saw things like that, I said, oh, well, thank God I got bullied. That's a good thing. And that's why I am here where I am today, being able to confidently make videos like this. No, not having that much social anxiety because I battled through it. I actually used that positively. I looked at it positively and every single corresponding choice or the corresponding frames that were put into place added up to that final goal that I actually want to get to. So really, you're paving the pathway to your own life by choosing that reality. This is your birthright. You were supposed to consciously choose however your life goes. This is your destiny. But we just get entangled with common perception, you know, how we should look at things. Oh no, bullying is bad. Oh, getting bullied is bad. I know other people who got bullied who perceived it negatively and as a result are crippled with social anxiety now. So this is what it is. Two people can go through the exact same event. One person comes out of it, becomes great. Other person comes out of it, nothing happens to them. This is why it doesn't matter what action happens, right? So I had a prospective client come to me and he said that, oh, I was in the same course as the founder of Airbnb and he came out of that course and he got the idea for Airbnb and I came out of that course and I still live in my trailer. So really it doesn't matter what you do or what event happens. It's just how you perceive that event. Who is it that's experiencing the event, right? So it's about this who, the becoming and the being, the identity. So how do you perceive it? What attention are you putting to the events that are happening in your life? Are these positive? Are you perceiving them positively and thus shifting to positive parallel realities? Or are you perceiving it negatively and shifting to negative parallel realities? That's a question you've got to ask yourself. Right? Every single day, become very, very mindful of that. And we're going to get to that in the two exercises later on in the video. So to really hammer this example home, I read this Tony Robbins book and he was talking about how there were twins who had an abusive father, right? Let's call them John and Bill. And uh, these twins had an abusive father who would just drink a lot and then hit them and just be abusive. And John, 30 years later, a reporter went to visit both John and Bill. Reporter went to John and John turned out the same way as his father. He also became an abusive father and he abuses his kids and he just drinks and he's homeless, blah, 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 etc., etc. And his life just turned out exactly the same way as his dad's. So the reporter asked him, you know, why did your life turn out this way? And he said, well, how could my life not turn out this way? Look at how my dad was. It had to be this way. There could be no other way. Okay, cool, understandable. Now the reporter went to Bill. And you know, Bill is now a CEO and a multimillionaire and extremely successful, has a great loving family and is absolutely fantastic. Right? He's a fantastic dad. And now the reporter was curious. So he asked, well, Bill, how come you turned out this way? You know, your dad was abusive. He was a drunk. How come you became a CEO, a loving father and a loving husband? What gives? And Bill was like, well, how could I not? My father was this way, so I had to be this way, right? So you see how the same event is happening in their lives, the two twins' lives. 
but they're just perceiving it in a different way. They're putting different attention, a different quality of attention to it. And as a result, they shift it to different lifelines. So this is how it works. It doesn't matter what event happens. Every single event, you got to understand this, every single event is neutral. Every single event is neutral. You put an attention to it, which shifts you to corresponding lifelines. Right? So now I want to talk to you about interpreting signs and readings and all of that. You know, I used to get a lot of questions about this. I still do. You know, I had a client who came to me and he said, oh, I had a dream that I dreamt of a turtle. You know, what does that mean? Does it mean that I should take it slow with my life? And really, this is an event, right? This dream still is an event. The sign is still an event. How are you perceiving this? All of these events are neutral. What meaning are you putting onto these signs? Because if you think that you need to go slow in order to achieve what you want in your life, then you need to go slow. It's as simple as that. If you think you need to speed it up, then you need to speed it up. There is no external force you know, that's working against you. Everything is working with you if you choose to let it. Unless you resist it, then it's going to start working against you. So this is what you always got to be aware of. You know, what attention, how are you perceiving all of these events that are happening in your life every single day? These, this perception corresponds future events. Remember, we said that the thoughts you have today create the future you experience tomorrow. So anytime you interpret a sign, you got to make sure that you don't let negativity enter the layer of your reality. That is dangerous. That's kind of like a, it's kind of like a diet, right? So if you, as long as you don't let negativity or junk food or things that kill life, not sustain it, enter your reality, you're good. So anytime I interpret signs, when I see even 666, I say, oh, wow, I saw 666. That's not the devil's number. It's Quasi's number. I'm lucky. You know, something great's going to happen in my life. And what do you think happens? Great things happen every single day. You know, I wake up every single day in disbelief and shock like that I'm living this life that I am today. And because you've got to keep compounding this effect over and over. Any sign that you perceive, it's good. It's all for you. Every single thing is a sign. All of these neutral events, fuck it, they're not neutral. They're all positive. That's where you've got to stay from now on. Because once you do this, there is no choice but to go to positive lifelines. Good things just keep happening to you. You just keep getting luckier and luckier. This is how you control your own luck. Right? So now I want to share with you an exercise, a two-step exercise or a two-part exercise that's going to help you get to a point where you cultivate this kind of attention, this make this into a habit of only seeing the good in things. So step one, part one of this exercise is really to become aware of how you're perceiving things every single day. So become acutely aware, even going through this video. You know, maybe you found this video, you got lucky. Put a positive turn to it. You know, become acutely aware of your own perception, every single event in your life. How are you perceiving it? Because there are levels of unconsciousness that you're not even aware of. That's why it's unconscious. And unless and until you make the unconscious conscious, you'll just call it fate and it'll be suffering. You'll keep suffering. That's the goal. Turning that which is unconscious into conscious. Consciousness is the power to create. So become very, very acutely aware of how you're perceiving things. And also look at both the positive and the negative in it. So let's say an event happens to you, you know, after you get up, after you stop watching this video, some event happens to you. You know, just look for the positive and the negative in that. Once you start to find out this division between positive and negative, then it becomes very simple. You can just choose to focus on the positive. But if you don't even know what the positive and the negative are, then you can't focus on it. You're, you have no choice but to unconsciously focus on that which you are seeing, that which is being shown to you by your own biases. Right? There's this lens that we all have called our reticular activating system, your RAS. This filters every single thing that we haven't been programmed with. Because we are unconsciously programmed right now, we keep seeing things that we want to see. Put that aside for a second. You can do that. If you become conscious, you can do that. Just become conscious. Just become a little bit aware. Ask yourself, how am I perceiving this right now? Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You know, what's the good in this event? You know, our client didn't want to join my program. Well, okay, what's the good in this event? Oh, the good thing is maybe this client wouldn't have been a good fit for the program. So I saved myself from having 
a client who would be a bad fit. Great. What's the bad in this event? Well, I didn't get another client. It could always be terrible. You know, this is terrible. Ah, I didn't get another client. Hmm, what am I going to focus on? The good. I'll focus on that. And this is how you shift to positive parallel lifelines. It's as simple as that. There's really not no magical technique to, you know, you've got to meditate like this and you've got to put your foot like that and then your hand like this. No, it's very, very simple because the greatest things in life are always simple. The simplest solution is always the best. That's Occam's razor. So part two is if you can't find the positive, let's say maybe a relative dies and you can't find the positive in that at all right now, just ask yourself, what lesson am I being taught? What lesson is this event trying to teach me? When you answer that question, it automatically takes a positive turn to your life. Right? Because every single event in your life is always trying to teach you a lesson. Are you learning that lesson? Ask yourself what lesson it is. Accept it. Move on. I needed to learn this in order to help me in a future situation in my life that I'm not aware of right now. It's not in my awareness right now, but I needed to learn this lesson. It's going to help me. So with that, I conclude this video. Just to recap, we talked about different parallel realities. We talked about shifting to a lifeline that's more positive, that is more enjoyable. And we talked about attention, the different qualities of attention. There's positive attention, negative attention, which both attract and repel reality, and neutral attention, which dissolves reality. Then we talked about two examples of you know, how when I got bullied, I perceived it as positive. And that's why I rewrote my story, got to a point where I am today. Other people get bullied, put a negative spin on it and say, ah, I'm this way because I got bullied. I say, I'm this way because I got bullied. I'm in this good positive state because I got bullied. Other people say, oh, I'm in this shitty po negative state because I got bullied. Because they're unconsciously putting a meaning to it. Right? And then the example of the two twins, John and Bill. Also, we talked about interpreting signs, how every single sign is in your favor. Everything is neutral. The event doesn't matter. It's the perception of the event. It's the attention placed on the event that causes the shift between lifelines. And finally, we talked about the two-part exercise. Number one, becoming very, very acutely aware of how you're perceiving things. And then finding both the positive and the negative, consciously making the choice to focus only on the positive. If you can't find the positive right now, ask yourself, what lesson is this event trying to teach me? Accept it. Move on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. I hope this was valuable to you. Please leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this. I'll be reading all of them and also any video suggestions, any ideas that you have for future videos. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell there so you're notified of any new video that I put out. Also, I'm super excited to announce that the Reality Mastery Consult is open. As I mentioned before, you know, we were fully booked, but right now we have some spots available. So make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for the consult. And this is where we will be going over, you know, looking at your life and how it is we can help you get to a point where you completely shift your life. And we have so many clients in the program who are absolutely crushing it. And I know that this is the real deal. Right, so I've seen that in my personal life, whenever I worked on shifting myself, not at the surface level, not by the action or the courses that I did, not by, you know, the techniques that I tried, but rather really fundamentally in my own sense of self, my own perception, own conception of myself at the identity level. That's when powerful shifts started to happen in my external reality, only by shifting yourself at your internal where you experience the changes you want to see in your external. So if you want to enroll into free one-to-one -one consult to see if we'd be a good fit to work together, make sure you click on the link in the description below and I'll see you there. And also, super excited to announce our Facebook group is also open and we're getting a lot of new great members. So make sure you click on the link in the description below to sign up for the Facebook group. Hope I see you there. Till next time. Peace.